What is going on, guys? How are you doing now? I know I've said this before, but you will never have seen a build like this before. This is one hell of a crazy ass build. And I'm pretty confident to say that you haven't seen this build before. And if you have, you know what I'm going to say. You're a goddamn liar. Now, we've got Matthias playing as Dutch here in the north. Now, this is my boy, Terran. We'll call him, uh, so I'll be referring to uh, the Dutch player as Terran. Terranigma, as his name goes. You might remember correctly, and I'm just going to just realize I haven't put my shades on, and uh, the glare is starting to get to me, so a rare sighting of Lionheart without his shades on. Um, you might remember Terran, this guy. He was, um, he put that, I think it was the USA imperial cowboy build you might remember that that video is a very very popular video and he did that crazy imperial usa build uh, which is actually really really strong and uh, so we'll see what he's going to decide to do this game with dutch already got some people on on wood so probably going to be looking at doing some kind of risotto-esque age one uh, build. We talk about these risotto builds and stuff like that. Now, Terran and risotto, they're always on the Discord, you know, talking about crazy builds. So both of these guys are coming up with those those kind of age one builds together. Um, it's just risotto is the better player. So you often just see him pull it off more often. But Terran, uh, this guy's a theory crafter, all right? This guy is a theory crafter through and through. Um... He loves he loves the fairy craft these crazy builds and look at this build from Dutch. Look at that deck. <laughs> so we've got the Dutch East India Company in now. You've seen this uh, build before, and it essentially makes banks cost three hundred wood and three hundred food. He has advanced market in there. Only three cards in H two. That is hilarious. Lots of mercenary cards. Interesting. He actually has the this Hitman. Oh, that's the Akan card. Okay, looks a bit different to when I last saw it. So, yeah, so we're, we're, we're going to see something interesting here. Already, at 2 minutes 20, we're about to see a bank go down. Commander? And look, we're going to see it go down with the Envoy. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. You love to see it. You'd be surprised Hello? by how many villager seconds having an Envoy build a bank saves. Like, honestly, because his villagers don't have to be building it, I mean, he's going to build it now with a couple of villas just to get it up quicker. But Hello? that saves a lot of villager seconds. A lot of villager seconds. So bank one is going down before three minutes of the game. <laughs> and now he's got loads of people in gold. Let's see what his next card's going to be. Oh, my goodness me. An advanced market is... At what is with this advanced market meta? Holy cow, it's crazy. But we're going to see a Dutch advanced market. <laughs> Oh, this is absolutely fantastic. But that's this isn't even the main reason that this build is is as... Sorry, this game is as crazy as it is. Because this Mexico player is about to do something even crazier than a Dutch age one advanced market build. So we'll see here. Looks like a very um, industrial, kind of revolt industrial-esque uh, desk, uh, deck, should I say. We see the pretty standard build so far. So... We've seen this before. You've seen me do this plenty of times. Um, I, I think I, you know, sort of put this fast industrial on the map, made it quite famous. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's basically three cards in age one with the first starting TP. Essentially, you get the, um, the three towers and then 700 wood and you can age up. But this guy's going to do something crazier than that, believe me. So we'll keep an eye on what, what he's going to be doing. Uh, let's have a look over at Terran. Not really sure what's going on here. Advanced markets come in. <laughs> he's, he's at four minutes and he's just chilling. He's putting down his second bank. <laughs> uh, normal Dutch player, you haven't even got a bank yet. You, you know, you're aging up and you're just about probably putting your bank down now. And he's already about to get his second one up. Look how fast that builds. Hello? This the envoy in the corner building a very safe bank over there. <laughs> So cool. Oh, 16 villagers already. <laughs> now going for town militia. So uh, maybe expecting some early aggression here. So that's a nice play. Looks like now he's sort of ready to go up to H2. Don't forget these banks have extra HP. Look how much HP these banks have now. Okay, so we've got 
Oh, wow. So look at this. So this is, this is, um, I forgot that he sent this. Wow. Preso Dios. Preso Dios. Now, I, I remember looking at this card, trying to play around with this card early on, but it just felt too slow and it just didn't do enough. Essentially, this allows your explorer to build a fort in age two and it makes the fort cheaper and quicker to build. Uh, it includes walls, forts, outposts, all that good stuff. But this guy's going to be using it for the big bad wolf. The big bad fort. So just you wait to see what he's going to be doing. So he's now macroing heavily on uh, wood and gold. He is going for the Central America revolt. So he wants to get into that revolt first. Give him that big juicy, is it seven villagers I think it gives you? Yeah, about seven villagers. And then look. You see here. He's going to be building a fort any time, any second now. There it goes. And look at this. It does still take two minutes to build. Two minutes to build a fort. But that is still quicker than normal. Even building a wall behind this as well. I love it. Now walls cost eight wood. <laughs> They're 20% cheaper for walls. The fort now costs only 360 wood and 300 gold. Now that is a, an absolute steal for a fort. That is an absolute, that is a cheap date right there. He can now build two of them as well, because obviously you can always, you can always have one fort, but obviously you can, you, you can only have them normally in age three. So now that card that he sent, Presidios, he can now get an extra fort and he can build them in age two. So that is kind of insane right now. He can build outposts as well. His hero can build outposts and all that just sort of good stuff. So yeah, pretty, pretty insane right now. Very, very defensive. But it gets better. It gets better. He's now shipping uh, Our Lady of the Assumption. Now this, this, uh, this is an extra cathedral, but it doesn't just give you an extra cathedral. It makes all other cathedrals uh, grant double the XP. So instead of one XP per second, both these cathedrals are going to be two experience per second. So that's four experience per second. Guys, that is unbelievably insane. That's basically like um, half of... That's like having five or four warrior priests. That's like having four warrior priests dancing uh, on, on XP for, um, for Aztec, which is insane. It's absolutely insane. And they're just buildings. They're buildings. So that's, that's only cost him two cards right there. Uh, not, not to mention that um, I, I believe, and I, I don't know, because these cathedrals, don't forget, they repair buildings 0.25, I think, percent per second. Um, I wonder if this stacks. So now it's half a percent per second. Someone in the, someone in the YouTube comments, tell me if it's, if it stacks, because if it does, that would be un fucking believably good. <laughs> And now going down for another fort. So he's, he's, he's wow, he's, he's macro to get another fort down. He's, he can't build any villagers, so he doesn't need any extra pop. He's not making any military, so he doesn't need any of that good stuff. He's rebuilding some walls. And he's getting down his second fort right now. Yeah, pretty scary, right? Pretty scary. He's also going for improved buildings. I believe that gives 40% HP. 40% on all buildings. Let's just have a quick double check. Okay, it doesn't say. Building hit points increased. I think it's 40%. We'll, we'll double check. 9,000 to 3,600. Bruh. So, yeah, that's about 40%. So, he's going to have two forts on 12,600 HP. That's insane. Town centers have over 9,000. These cathedrals have 7,000. <laughs> it's, it's just insane. Hatching Engines have 5,000. You get hit points. You get hit points. Holy crap. This is this is going to take so much to siege down. And with double force, it's just insane. So that is, this is so scary right now. This, like, this is just insane. Let's go back, have a look at uh, Terran. Um, so he's got seven banks. Holy cow. So he's got straight up to age three. Hello. Shipping. He, he's shipping a fort now as well. So he did go for all these three cards. The moment he gets into age two, he's instantly aging up and he gets the religious freedom. He's gone into religious freedom and he's uh, shipped the tech that gives him an extra two uh, banks. He's shipping his fort very, very defensively as well. 
funny the funny thing about both both these two is they're both playing super defensive <laughs> they are both playing really really defensive and they're not scouting each other yeah. you'll notice the elo of this game is a little bit lower than normal so i i think the elo is probably around 1400 um i'm not sure i'll have to double check what the elo is uh but uh yeah it's around the great cypher elo, i think so about 1400 elo um but yeah, but you you get some really fun games. You get some really fun builds at this level. So that's really really good to see. Uh, and then Dutch, yeah, he's going to be going uh, straight into industrial here. The moment he macros for it, he's got lots of industrial juicy cards. He's gone for Fort. That's the only card so far. No TP, so he's got to be careful about his card usage because he doesn't have a lot of XP uh, generation coming in. The Fort does go down, and that'll be useful if he sends like the Blue Guard. Because obviously you can rebuild uh, from the fort there. But yeah, pretty nice so far. <laughs> advanced market. I love how it's called advanced market as well. So yeah, pretty, pr very greedy build now. And he's got all of this up before 11 minutes. And now he's aging up. Uh, so this is actually quite a good build. You know, if you, if he's, if there's no pressure whatsoever, this is a really good build. Look, he's got seven banks for goodness sake, 24 bills and a fort up and advanced market, which is which is really good eco because you, your buy rate and sell rate is uh, much better. Um, so yeah, really, really nice greedy build here by Terran. Let's go back over and look at this guy. Uh, that was the fast age up tech, I believe, uh, with the cathedral. But when you revolt, it doesn't impact your age up speed, but it does double the XP crates. And because he's going into industrial, this is one of my favorites. Uh, you get like 1400 XP uh, on uh, as crates, which is kind of insane. He's already got two... Uh, two cards stacked, two shipments stacked, and that's thanks to this, uh, these double cathedrals producing two XP each per second, which is insane. Now in comes all of this XP uh, on the floor. So he's going to have so many cards. Holy crap. This is actually insane. Double four as well. Okay, nice. So he's macroing heavy on for the... For the factory wagon that doubles the HP and gives all of their upgrades for free. So now he's going to be putting that down. Looks like he wants to put it down next to the fort, which is, uh, you know, yeah, I, I respect that. Uh, one thing to note about, he's got this artillery foundry. And you might be thinking how you've got this artillery foundry. So when you age up to age two with Mexico, you get a uh, military wagon, right? And obviously normally you can only put a stable or a barracks down. But what he did, he waited. He, he, he kept that wagon um, not building anything and waited till he revolted because when you revolt into Central America, you can then use that wagon as an artillery foundry. And that's exactly what he did. So really nice value and kind of awareness that you can do that. Going for thing? both his factories first, then going for a fort, going for an extra fort. And this is no ordinary fort either. This is the age four fort and it has a couple of specialities. Um, wow, he's shipping the other fort as well. Right <laughs> straight away. So this fort gives uh, an extra 100% line of sight. Holy crap. And it, and it does 900% damage to um, heroes, which you might think is a bit useless. But when you're defending against like Aztec or China with those heroes that have like 2000 HP, yeah, they will get absolutely melted. So let's have a look at the line of sight of these forts. Watch what's, what's going to happen. Holy crap. Look at look how far he sees. Look how it's like he's seeing into the future. Look at the line of sight that he's just got. Holy crap. That line of sight is insane. In comes a fort. So he's going to have four forts. Four forts. You might be thinking, this is just a waste of forts. Like, why do you need that many forts? Just trust the process, guys. I know there hasn't been much action right now. This has been 14 minutes of pure build order, but it's gonna, the payoff is gonna be worth it, guys. I promise you the payoff will be worth it. Just stick to the process. Trust in me. Trust in the build order. Yes, you are seeing a Texas revolt right now. So he's got both his factories. He's got four forts, each with 12,600 HP. He's just revolted to Texas. That turns all of his villages into volunteers. He has barely any eco right now. And yes, he is now shipping Texan forts. This is what it's all been for. This is what it's all been for. This is what we've been waiting for. Now, what does Texan forts do, you may ask? Well, let's go and have a look. 
Forts now instead slowly train batches of units for free. That's right. Now watch, watch what he uh, trains with them. You can, he can also send the two fort wagons, by the way, and that increases the two build. That increases the build limit. <laughs> so he's gonna have just so many forts. Who needs units when you can, when you can just send forts? Am I right? And oh my God, this game gets even weirder because Terran just revolted to USA. Hi, ah, oh, this is just too much for me to handle, Terran. How many banks does he have? Let's have a quick look. I think it's still on seven. So he's got seven banks and he's just revolted to USA. USA, in theory, is quite a good revolt because it has some insane cards. I've spoke about this before. We've seen Risotto do um, some of these insane um, build orders. Uh, you've got insane cards like Nox's Continental Artillery is insane. Uh, Culverin's getting buffed. Just insane. It gives you five of them as well. All for 500 uh, food. We've got... Um, this is six settler and four settler wagons. So that's uh, essentially a 14 villager card. And it gives you a 0.45 trickle. Insane. Uh, this card's really good. Continental Army as well. Um, I think there's that one's really good. You, you get insane units like Morgan's Continental Sharpshooters. These guys are just insane. And uh, yeah, that, now we've got an aggressive four. I love it. What is your command? With lots of guard, carbine, cavalry. So he used the card that turns all of them into all of his Reuters into Carbine Cavalry. Um, so pretty good. They are, they, they turns him into guard as well. So yeah, pretty, pretty insane. Each fort that goes down is going to give um, a couple of um, Gatlings as well. So yeah, this is just insane. This this game is just absolutely mad. And we're, you can see, we're going to see some um, action very, very shortly. And all of a sudden, look at Dicta. Look at Dick, Dicta Cigar. I haven't even pronounced his name, have I? We'll call him Cigar. The USA player. Yes. Already has 16 guard sharpshooters. Each one of these are producing four sharpshooters. So and don't forget as well, it's just layer of layer over layer. He he uh, deleted his TC. You see here, where's his TC gone? He just deleted his TC manually. What a madman. Well, he can't make villagers so he doesn't need that tc so because because he deleted that tc he can plant his flag inside his base and now the flag is the flag is planted in range of all of these forts which means that they train these sharpshooters quicker so insane we've got blue guard in here we've got revolutionaries we've got all of these carbine cavalry and they're attacking and they're, he's doing a good job, but he's fighting under four forts, which is very soon to be five forts and six forts. Hi, everybody. He's down 13k score. You think surely this is over? Well, how's he going to take down these forts? Because they have now have 17,000 HP. When did that happen? He's doing the upgrades for them. Oh my goodness me. This is giving me a headache. More Gatlings coming in. <laughs> he's got all of his units trying to take down a fort here, but he's just tickling it. He's just scratching the paintwork. And he's going to have to fight under this, and he's getting this upgrade now, which I believe increases their range and attack. Now we've got these revolutionary sharpshooters, these Morgan, these Morgan sharpshooters, 24 range, 30 ranged attack. Um, absolutely insane these guys are. And look, but look at the forts that he takes. He only does half HP damage to one of them. To one of them. <laughs> He's got six forts right now. <laughs> He's now shipping this card, which gives him um, uh, one citizen or something like that per uh, building. Uh, and that gives him 14 vills. Not bad. Not bad. And he's going to just put them all in the Hacienda. And uh, yes. <laughs> along with the llamas and livestock, he's basically got a full hacienda there. I'm not sure what he's going to be producing with it. Uh, it looks like just food. And yeah, so a couple more um, cauldrons coming out. But look at this. Look at this. Deleting his own TC just so he can put the flag down within his base. And I think maybe other than that fort and maybe that fort, this flag is helping four forts produce uh, these units quicker. Just insane. Just insane. Yes. And now already, look at this remass. Look at this remass. And you can you can stack the you, you can produce whatever unit. Whatever unit you can make from a fort, you can produce for free. 
Uh, this guy is uh, quite the talker, as you can probably see. <laughs> Even getting an upgrade from the Hacienda here. This build is just insane. Don't forget, he's still got both his factories. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Now these forts have... Look at the damage on these things. 250 attack, free area of effect, and 32 range. They have 17,000 HP, and there's six of them. There is six of them. Mind equals blown. Mind equals blown. And uh, there's still... Oh, what was he doing there? Oh, yeah, he gets conscription. Uh, because you're in Texas, you get, yes. you get this big batch of guard Minutemen. Um, it's, it's just insane. This is one of the coolest builds I've seen in a long time. He's now going for Texan Marines. Um, and that's essentially going to just upgrade his Minutemen to uh, Marines. Um, again, because why not? Why not? Does it give Imperial? It gives him Imperial Minutemen. So essentially his Marines are going to be Imperially teched. That's insane. What is your command? So they currently have 260 HP and 37 ranged attack. So I think they're already there. They're guard teched at the moment. Wait to see. Let's have a look. See what they're going to turn into. 51 ranged attack and 360 HP. <laughs> oh, look at this mass. I'm ready. It's all for free. Yes. It's all for free. He's got 62 sharpshooters. Holy cow. I'm ready. What is your command? 64, rather. And now he's producing Gatling guns. And these guys produce... A fort produces two Gatling guns at a time. So every shipment, there's going to be 12 Gatling guns. 12 Gatling guns. <laughs> that is so many resources. <laughs> this is so insane. This is so insane. Now he's saying he can go Imperial too. Uh, I'm not sure what he means by that. Probably he means he can get Imperial units. And uh, my boy Terra. Terran's not paying any attention to what he's saying. He's just massing Skirmgoon. And a very, very strong Skirmgoon, may I add. Look at the resources he's got. He's, he's pumping resources out. His eco is still really good. Seven banks and two factories. His eco is really good. Yes. He's now got 41 of these revolutionary sharpshooters. 24 range, 33 attack. They have three multipliers versus heavy infantry. 3.75 versus light, light range cavalry. These guys are insane. They do have a 4.5 rate of fire, though. So we, we, we have a look at these guys. They have about the same HP. They have less attack, though. They have one less range, but they have a faster fire rate. So interesting to note. Um, that these guys are actually better at kiting than, than guard sharpshooters, which is kind of insane when you think about it. Um, now, now Terra actually going for... That's Washington's. Washington's Continental Grenadiers. Those things are insane. But look how many Gatlings there are in just one pump from the, from the forts. There's 12 Gatling guns. And it's soon to be an extra 12 added on. It's gonna be, we're going to see 24 Gatling guns. Oh, oh man. You can get another batch of Imperial Marines here. Oh my God, this is so insane. In come the Washington Generals though. These guys, these Grenadiers are insane. But oh no, he's getting wrecked by the Gatling guns. These, these Grenadiers will wreck the sharpshooters. He just needs to take care of the Gatling guns. And he's doing a good job, but he's losing all of his cab in the process. But this is actually an insane fight. This is an insane fight for Dutch. Even got his red lances in there as well. The church tech. Look, the grenadiers are going to rinse this. Look at the attack damage with the free air of effect. Oh, they absolutely destroy guard sharpshooters. But look at this. Within a, just a click of a button, he gets an extra 12 Gatling guns and 16 Imperial Marines. <laughs> And look at the scores. He's actually in, in front of score after getting cleaned up there. <laughs> He's now going to be getting the Texas Army, which gives him Imperial units. Oh, my goodness me. 
It does take a while for the text to come in. They take 300% longer. Uh, that was a that was a big nerf. Um, that they, it now costs 500 gold to send this tech. But it will give him Imperial units. Um, I think it's just for... Yeah, it's all, for everything from a barracks, basically. So he can get Imperial sharpshooters, Imperial regulars. Wow. And look at this. This fort is going to go down. All, all because of these Gatling guns. Oh, but a nice pop of the Prussian Ulans. Oh, and just like that, flinging a wrist. Una reverse card coming in. And these Texas Marines, they don't have multis versus cab. Oh, my God. But look, just like that, these Prussian Ulans going to get two hit by Forts. Hi, yeah, that is unfortunate. But they're also going to two hit Gatling. So, you know, that's uh, nice. Going to clean up. All the artillery here. Really nice play there, actually. The Grenadiers have 72 siege attack. Really, really nice. But is it going to be enough versus this amount of force? Oh, my God. And another 12 Gatling guns coming in. Hi. Oh, that is unfortunate. And Oh, no. No. Revolutionary shot shooters. I beg you, run away. Run away, for the love of God. Oh my god, what car have we got in here? Ship 16 Minutemen when destroyed by enemies. Your fortifications, buildings, and wall spawn Minutemen. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> oh my goodness me. He's got four horse artillery in there from somewhere. Oh my god, he's got a barracks down. He's getting Imperial sharpshooters, then Imperial regulars. What oh my target? goodness me. Just, just infinite, infinite units spawning in here. It's just insane right now. Could get 16 villagers would be a good card. Doesn't need heavy fortifications anymore. Just using these units would be good as well. Wow. Even two Hashienda card. Wow, this is... Oh, oh, but we have... Oh, this is so perfect. I don't think I've ever seen this actually used in a real battle. We have stealth petards. That's right. Where is it? It's one of these cards. There it is. I think it costs 500 gold or, or maybe even 1k gold. And now it sends stealth petards and it allows your petards and ironclads to use stealth. Stealth ironclads. It's a big metal frigate in the middle of the ocean. How can you make that stealth? I don't know, mate. That is the next Star Trek cloaking technology right there. But look at this. Stealth petards. <laughs> That is cool, I have to say. But is six going to be enough? He's going to need more than six because these guys have 17,000 HP. Just insane. Look at the score. Oh, my goodness me. These regulars are very shortly going to be Imperial Tech as well. Oh, no, they get seen. No, the forts. Something sees that. Even the Cathedral of the forts, they see stealth. And oh, the Gatlin's take all of them down before one even gets shot. A load of cab gets murdered. This guy is shit talking to my boy hard right now. Making more Washington generals is nice. But you need this card. You need Noxious Continental Artillery. Terror, and I beg, that's such a good card. It will give you really good culverins. And with good micro, you will absolutely wreck through these Gatling guns. But you're going to need a few of them. He's making some of these Prussian Ulans. And it's very similar to the USA Age 3 card. Pulaski's uh, Legion, it's called. And this is Pulaski's Continental Cavalry. Um, which has some extra added buffs, to be honest. Uh, which is nice. Look at it. Look at the resources, though, Terra. You have so many resources, bruh. So many resources. He's got no military. He's got no military wagons, though. Oh, no. You should have shipped this card a long time ago. You definitely need European immigrants um, as opposed to stealth petards. And that will allow you to just put down a load of uh, military buildings. Yes. And you could make some of these crazy, uh, crazy units. Wow. He's, he's used the native tech, which gives him 1.4k one, 1. gold. But he's got no villagers. Finally, we see European immigrants coming in. But you also need this card here. Also desperately need that card. Here we have Imperial Regulus. Look at these guys. 
Oh, this is just so painful. Oh, it's heartbreaking. Oh, yeah, okay, he changes it. Goes to Nox Continental Artillery instead. Definitely something you need. This build is just insane, but you need to spend your resources, bruh. Oh, my God. That is so many Gatling guns. We have 21 Gatling guns. No, 23 Gatling guns. 23 Gatling guns. He's max population. There's, I just don't know how he can deal with it. Look at the spread. It's absolutely beautiful. It feels like the Italy uh, Gatling, Gatling uh, bug. If you remember that build when Italy um, could just build an infinite amount of forts. <laughs> you just have to deal with constant Gatling guns everywhere. He does get the uh, a couple of good pops with the uh, artillery, but they're going to get caught by the Gatlings. Oh, man. And look, it's just infinite resources, infinite units coming in from the back here. Like 20 Imperial regulars coming in. And just like that, my boy Terra says, GG, well played, good sir. Woo, that took the breath out of me, that game, because that was a fantastic game. Both these guys having almost zero villagers for a large portion of it. We've got double revolts, USA revolt and Texas revolt. It's like a civil war. And uh, Texas coming out on top. I mean, if there's any of you guys out there interested in this build, I'll tell you what, that is one of the most toxic builds I have ever laid eyes upon. And I would 100% promote that toxic build on the ladder. So go ahead, boys. <laughs> go ahead and try it for yourself. Absolutely insane. Well played to that guy. Um, Dit Cat Cigar. Ditka Cigar 89. Well played, good sir. Well played. Little bit of a low elo legends. Um, but it wasn't that low elo. It was more like a mid elo legends gameplay there with some fantastic build orders, which you would not see at the higher end of the ladder. So yeah, as a fantastic play there. Let's have a look at the quick uh, post game stats. <laughs> Both these guys going from 29 and 24 bills straight down to zero. Absolutely brilliant. How often do you see a game with a villager graph like that? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Resources for Terra was insane. Still had those seven banks for all of the game. So if we look at the military population. Look at this guy. Terra reached 193. 193 military pop. So that's no villagers. 193 military pop at 17 minutes. That is scary. That is super scary. But the one way to defeat it is to have seven forts it, with all of the improvements done and with the 40% HP bonus. Just absolutely insane. <laughs> absolutely insane. What a game. 96 revolution. Oh my God. Sharpshooters made. That was a fantastic game. Well played. Thank you, Terra. Even though you lost it, thank you for sending that over. That was an absolutely brilliant build by yourself. But uh, Cigar89 just taking the spotlight with that build. And that was the most toxic build ever. Hope you guys enjoyed that one as much as I did. And I will catch you in the next one. See you later, boys. Peace.